the city of Lagos, Nigeria's commercial nerve center. On some of the rooftops here are solar panels. Nearly a decade ago, things looked quite different. Climate technology was new in Africa, and it was tough to get funding for startups that would eventually enable the region's electrification. Today, the ecosystem has since changed. In 2015, it was a lot more easier. You had a lot of VC backed um, VCs very much interested in um, renewable energy company. Um, um, you had a lot of grants um, given the strategy at that time was to actually get patient capital that can enable the growth of a lot of the players. Now we're already in, the industry is a, a bit more tighter given the value chain is expanded and players are now looking to specific areas in the value chain to play in. Brainsource Energy, a company that provides solar and battery-based power subscription packages, is benefiting from the recent uptick in private funding. What we're doing simply is by addressing, in that same manner, decentralized energy. So if we could swap a generator with, with solar panels one at a time, then we're fixing that problem. Now what we are now doing is doing it on a larger scale. Right now, Rensos has two megawatts of solar capacity in operations all through Nigeria, and we're looking to do about 20 megawatts this year. That's already in process. Last year, climate tech startups on the continent raised $1 billion, a 9% increase from the previous year, and tripled that of 2019. A lot of the VCs um, um, in playing in this space right now in Africa are doing a really fantastic job. I think the room for improvement is now to see that bigger investors now look at the model and participate, right, and take the level of risk that VCs will not be able to venture into to help scale the players who are now moving beyond that seed capital stage, who are moving beyond that VC stage, and then help them expand and solve the problem. It is estimated that Africa requires about $207 billion annually to implement its climate goals. Experts say investors themselves need to expand their scope of interest.